Hola, Mike. Hola, Maiko. Hola, Mike. ¿Cómo estás? Estamos aquí transmitiendo en vivo desde Medina. Te encuentro por aquí yo y aquí, mira, ya hice la carga aquí. Hicimos el pastel, que aproximadamente le vamos a tomar foto. El pastel y, y la luz. Que digas hi. Hi Michael, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Michael. Hello, What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All the new subscribers, I'm Barbas. So we've been having pretty bad weather. That's why I haven't posted in the last week. I haven't really been able to do anything. Um, today, I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, disassembling the D16A. Um, I'm gonna do it outside. I'm gonna do it right here. We are expecting rain today, tomorrow, the day after, and maybe the day after that. Um, so, with that being said, I'm going to start by taking off the clutch and the flywheel. As soon as I get those off, I'll slap this piece on there and throw it on here. If it starts raining, I'm just going to throw a plastic over the whole thing with a bungee cord around and continue at a later time. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I went ahead and I placed this bracket. I really didn't have a position for this uh, for this one right here, this little arm. So I went through this side right here and I grabbed this bolt. This was just like a bolt that I had laying around downstairs. I don't know to what it goes to, but I was able to put it through and now we are completely ready. So now I just gotta put this on here. All right, so I got the motor on there on the engine stand and now I'm ready to take apart the water pump, this pulley, um, the alternator, oil filter, the breather, take basically everything off, everything surrounding the engine.
All right, you guys, so check this out. The only thing left now are just the internals of the D16. Um, I went ahead, as you guys can see, everything's in baggies. Everything is labeled. This way, you don't have any crowns later on. This is the way that I do it. That way it's easier for assembly also and I could go baggy by baggy cleaning it up with some degreaser. Um, I think now what we got to do is just finish taking off uh, the interior. This whole thing right here. Um, I did spill a little bit of oil. I'm going to go get a rag and wipe that up real quick. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day for me. Um, I just stepped on a nail on this board right here, and I could feel the blood on this foot. So I might have to go get a tetanus shot. And also, the rain's coming in, so I think this is gonna be the day for me. Um, don't go anywhere. In like two or three seconds, the video will continue, which will actually be tomorrow for me. All right, so it's been a few days since I last worked on the engine. Um, I ended up going to the hospital later on that night. I got a tetanus shot. My foot started getting swollen and uh, I really couldn't walk for like two days or something. And I guess I'm good now. Today's the day before Easter. It's Saturday. I had all this covered up. Got a plastic bag on it also. It did rain all these days. So, oh, it's got this oil all over me. But either way, now we're ready to continue.
It's looking really good in here. Try to put one of these bearings out. Can't do it with one hand. There it is. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I'm gonna go ahead, throw this in that box. And take these off right here. Right. All right, so here it is. These bearings do not look bad at all. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this up and call it a day because of the fact that I have not posted any videos in the last like week, week and a half, something like that. So I wanna get a video out there to you guys so you guys know what's going on. Um, I'm gonna go to the store right now. I'm obviously gonna cover this, throw a bag over it, tie it up. And I'm gonna go to the store right now, get some brake cleaner. Um, get some paint and I think in the next video what I'm gonna be doing is ordering some parts that I need ordering my rods um, a whole bunch of other parts that I still need for the turbo setup and we are gonna be painting the engine block and cleaning the crankshaft with some brake cleaner and degreasing most of the parts because I don't want that go back in there without it being clean and I want my engine to look pretty nice so I think that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'll catch you guys on the next video remember hit the like button subscribe if you haven't comment below any questions anything you guys got to say anything that I might have missed that you guys saw that that I might uh, forget or something throw it in the comments below Catch you guys on the next video. Till then, peace out. Stay safe. Catch you guys later. Peace.